Hey coach, what's up? Welcome back to our channel. If you're brand new here, make sure and hit that subscribe button below. That way you can stay updated with all the newest videos we have coming out on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at eight o'clock in the morning. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down why you need an email newsletter for your training business. I'm gonna break this into three simple steps. And I know there's a lot of questions that coaches have for me all the time about this because I know a lot of coaches, they don't wanna write newsletters. They think it takes too long. They don't wanna invest into software that automates this process. There's a lot of, I would say, excuses that coaches give me when we talk about writing a newsletter, especially coaches who are not good at writing. They don't wanna learn how to get better at writing. And so what I wanna do is make this simple for you. This way in 2019, you have a great way of marketing yourself, even if you're just brand new to writing newsletters. So here's my top three reasons why you need to have this set up for a business. Number one is when you have a newsletter and it's consistent, okay? If it is a consistent newsletter, I'm talking about once a week or twice a week, then you always have a way of positioning yourself as the expert in your area. And here's what I mean by that. If you go on Google right now and you look at all the other competition in your city, you will not see any coach out there who's doing what I'm saying. They're not gonna send a weekly newsletter. They might send something when they're trying to promote their summer camp or an upcoming camp, but they're not giving parents content and they're not positioning themselves as the expert. And this is something that can automatically like, make you the one, and I, I say the one in your area who stands out because at this point, you are the authority, you are the expert, because parents now are consuming your messages every single week. You are giving them content that is helping their kids. And then what that does is ultimately, it pulls them closer to your program, okay? So again, if you have this set up, then there's always a way of marketing to parents, but it has to be consistent. And I know the second thing here is, well, what system should I use? because there's a million different email marketing systems out there. And what I can do is I can just recommend the best one that I've used in the past that I know is gonna help you get started to where it's very simple. And when you click on this button right here, that will take you to a page. I have a resources tab on my website now. It has a bunch of great resources. You can go check out, it's called aweber.com. That is a great system. It's very simple and easy to use. I started using that, I think back in 2011 and it's very easy to use and I want you to start using that so you can start automating your newsletters, okay? So again, click on that button there and you can get like a, I think it's a free 30 day trial. So go see if you like it, okay? Now, the third thing that you need to know here, and I think this is so important, is when you start to send out newsletters, it's all about practice. It's not, you're not gonna be perfect at sending newsletters at the beginning. And the more you practice, obviously the better you're gonna get. It's gonna be like that with anything that you do. I know with these emails, it's gotta be something that you know parents want to read and they want to share and they want to respond. They want to wake up in the morning and actually read your emails. That's something that takes time to learn how to do. But I know that if you put in the practice, if you're disciplined, if you have a set schedule every week, like all right, every Monday and Friday, there's an email that's going out and you have that scheduled out then you're always, again, you're gonna have a way of broadcasting your message to parents. And I know, again, it's going to allow you to separate yourself from any other coach out there who tries to do training. And I'm gonna leave you on this note. This is something I learned probably six years ago. It doesn't matter how good of a trainer you are. It matters how good of a marketer you are, all right? And that to me is how you get more clients. You can be the best trainer in the world, but if parents don't know about you, if they're not seeing messages from you, if they're not seeing promotions from you, they're not gonna remember you. They're going to remember the one who's the best marketer. And I'm not saying you don't need to be a good coach. Uh, it's a given to me, if you're watching this channel, you are a great coach. But if you're a great coach and you're a great marketer, if you compare those together, you will have an unstoppable business. And having this, these emails, uh, newsletters set up, that to me is a great way of marketing yourself. It's very simple once you get used to it, once you get a little bit of practice in. And I know this is gonna be something that's really gonna help you out. 
and it's going to position you as the authority in your city. So that's it for today's video. If you have any questions, shoot me a comment below and uh, don't forget to su uh, subscribe to our channel. Like I said, I have that resource up here. Go check out that free 30 day uh, trial from aweber.com and uh, I'll see you soon.